To this now, the Gauteng Department of Social Development Men's Forum will honor men who have distingu distinguished themselves as positive male role models in a society. The award on its eighth edition aims to accentuate men in a society that is besieged by a scourge of gender-based violence. This is an investment by Gauteng Provincial Government to profile irreproachable men as a virtuous mentors to boy children. Over 300 boys are beneficiaries of the mentoring program. Let's now discuss this. We are now joined in studio by Mr. Bongani Ngomani, and he is the Chief Director at the Gauteng Department of Social Development. So thank you so much uh, for your time this afternoon. So let's talk now about mm -hmm. this initiative. Who is it aimed for, and, and what really are the benefits? Thanks, thanks a lot for hosting me, and greetings to the viewers at home. Basically, this initiative is aimed at uh, all South African men, but also to young boys, because the intention is to mobilize men and boys against gender-based violence, to make them to be uh, critical partners in this uh, battle that we are faced with as, as a country. <coughs> so basically, we seek uh, to profile those men that are doing good in the society, those that take their own time to contribute towards uh, social development from, 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 from different uh, sectors in the society, be it business, entrepreneurship, sports, or culture. Mm. Now, I see that you are also mentoring over 300 boys uh, through yes. uh, some of your uh, mentoring programs. Mm. Are you then utilizing the same men that you find in society that are doing good, according to the department, mm. to mentor these boys? Talk to us a little bit about how that works and how then do you tie in the, the scourge that is gender-based violence in this country? In fact, what we realized is that uh, if you want to change the society, you must focus on the young stars. Uh, in Zulu, they sell cultural sermons. So what we have done then, we partnered with uh, Scouts SA. We have more than 300 boys in our program. We engage with them every Tuesdays and every Thursdays. Uh, our aim is that at least in the next five years, uh, resources permitting, we should have more than 10,000 boys in the, in the program. People who are mentoring them are our members in the Men's Forum, but also are members of uh, Scouts SA, and any community member that is uh, prepared to, to work with us. So that's how we really deal with the uh, mentorship of mm. these young men. I mean, the, when you look at the gender-based violence in this country, I mean, we, mm. we, we are known as the murder or rape capital mm. of the world, or whatever the case is, but it is uh, a pandemic. It, mm. it actually has become so bad that now you are hearing of stories where um, there is rape between minors, you know, mm. young children raping other young children in schools. Mm. Um, and that's how, um, you know, how bad things are in this country. Um, when you mentor these young boys, what are some of the messaging that you give them? Because mm. um, we've spoken to various, you know, stakeholders in terms mm. of how can we turn things around in this country. And when you look at the people that are mostly raped, it is young girls and women by men. Um, so what are some of the, the key issues that you are trying to, to, to give out? Are you focusing mm -hmm. on gender-based violence or is it something else that you are currently focusing with in terms of the scourge? Basically, we are focusing on all aspects of life because we see these boys as three in one, as mind, body and soul. So our focus is on emotional intelligence. Mm -hmm but it's also on, on uh, gender sensitivity so that they understand the importance of gender equality. We also uh, focus on issues of substance abuse to make sure that these young boys understand the dangers of, of indulging in drugs or in alcohol. So basically we, we prepare them for an adult life and a life that will make them to be responsible uh, citizens in future. Mm. Of course, uh, our belief is that for us to win the battle against gender-based violence, we need to influence values of these boys, how they think, and most of all, how they see women in the, in the country. We make them see women 
or young girls as they are equals. Mm. Yes. As we wrap up our conversation, just talk to us about how the nomination process mm -hmm. works because we do understand that um, this is a men's forum where mm -hmm. you are now, you know, uh, in your eighth edition yeah. and you will then be, uh, you know, awarding some of these mm -hmm. men who are doing exemplary work within mm -hmm. society. Just talk mm -hmm. to us about the nomination process. The nomination process started in October uh, unfortunately, it's, we, we, it ended at, at the 1st first, first of, of November. It was the closing date. Then after that, we, we started the process of adjudicating. Then those that uh, have been uh, 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 what identified as good role models will be honored on the 17th, uh, which is next week, uh, Friday, at uh, Vets University, Linden Hall. We, we are going to be focusing on, I think, 25 men who are qualifying, but we also have got legends, uh, those that are semi-retired or who have retired. One of them is uh, Archbishop Glenstone, uh, Potwane, uh, Dr. Walisi Rote, and, and the uh, legendary Mbongeningem. Those we will also be, be honoring next week, uh, Friday. It's, it's, a, it's an annual process, it's an annual campaign. So those that did not get a chance this year to participate, uh, next year they will still have that chance. Yeah. All right, thank you so much uh, for your time uh, this yes. afternoon and of course uh, giving us this information. Mungani Ngomani there is the Chief Director at the Gauteng Department of Social Development talking there about the Social Development's Men's Forum that will be honouring men who uh, have distinguished themselves as positive male role models in the society.